All right, guys, we have a 2014 Honda Odyssey. We're gonna do the front brake pads on this car. Should be a simple job. All right, so I'm gonna position my light a little bit here. What we're gonna do is, this is where the brakes are in here. We're gonna take number 14, this is 14 here. We're gonna remove number 14 here. It's a 14 millimeter bolt. You remove that bolt. This is the bolt we're looking at. We're gonna put this bolt to the side. After that, you take your screwdriver and you're gonna lift up this caliper. This is a dual piston caliper. We're gonna slide out that caliper from there. These brakes are finished. There you go, they're finished. You see this? This groove is almost gone. We're gonna pry out the outside brake pad. So once we have both brake pads out, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna go check if I have these shims and if they're correct ones. Okay, so we do have them. So all you do is you're gonna pry out these shims. This hardware kit, I call them a shim. They're just a little metal piece, skinny piece. I have those out. I'm gonna take my new hardware kit, the shims. All right, so this goes in. This piece goes right in here. Same thing on the top. You always want to make sure this is in proper and it's sitting in its space, you know. The way this is made, it, it will lock itself in there once it's in there. Right, I'm gonna come right back. I'm gonna get the top one. I gotta move the camera out the way. All right, so it was a little difficult for me to get it in there, but I got it in there. All right, so I got the upper hardware kit and lower. I got them both in there. All right, so next, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my brake pads. I'm gonna put the brake pads in. So you take one brake pad with the sensor, it goes on the inside. And then one without the sensor. Sensor, I mean the little clip it has on, that's called the sensor. It indicates if the brakes are finished or not. So that's done. So what we're gonna do next after everything is, I'm gonna lift up my camera so we can see better. We're gonna compress this piston. It's a dual piston. They have tools for the dual pistons but you really don't need it. Any other, you could use two C-clamps or you could use one of these. Watch how as I push this, it's gonna turn here. But once that piston goes in, nice, it's gonna push the brake pad straight. And that, can, can you move that? All right, so this guy put too much brake fluid on it. The owner of this car, you know? If you go to like a Ziffy Lou, Pep Boys, they always want to top off your fluid, and this is what happens, you know? And don't worry about that if that happens. Because you're pushing this piston back, it's pushing the fluid back. You're not supposed to top off fluids, because the fluid is supposed to indicate that your brake fluid is low. There's a reason. Either you have a leak or your brake pads are down to nothing. 
they keep topping it off and then that system doesn't do its job. All right, there you go. I have the caliper compressed. Next, I'll put some grease on this. I'll put a little bit extra because I'm gonna pull out the other pin and I'm gonna put some grease on the brake pad itself. All right, so I got the bottom pin out. I'm gonna just rub this grease onto that. So they both have a little letter. All right, next, you take your caliper, you stick it into this where it belongs. Let's go down the camera a little bit. You take your caliper. And it goes on just like that. Then you take your number 12. You're gonna put it right there. 14. Oh, I'm sorry, 14. I was working on the back ones earlier. There was 12. So this is 14. Take your wrench, ratchet, number 14, and you tighten that bolt. And again, make sure your line is straight and you're done. That's how you do brakes on a 2014, I'm sorry, 2010 Honda Odyssey.